Hello friends, this video on neat nuclei is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 13. If T half is the half life of a substance, then T 3 by 4 is the time in which, okay, what is T half? Half life is the time uh, that a substance takes for half of it to disintegrate or half of it to decay. Right. So in this case, when we say that it is T3 by 4, that means the time taken by 3 fourth of the substance to decay. Right. So basically the substance decays 3 fourth. Only 1 fourth remains. So if 3 fourth of the substance decays, that means 1 fourth would remain. Question number 14. A radioactive substance emits n beta particles in the first 2 seconds and 0.5 n beta particles in the next 2 seconds. The mean life of the sample is, okay, so here it says that it emits n beta particles in first 2 seconds and then it emits 0.5 n beta particles in the next 2 seconds, right, so that means this is 2 plus 2 seconds. Now what is happening here you see that the particles are just getting halved correct so that means the time taken for, for this substance to become 0.5 n from n that would be its half life. So basically this change is happening in an additional time of 2 seconds which tells us that t half is equal to 2 seconds in this case. Now we know that mean life or average life is equal to 1 by lambda and lambda is equal to 0 0.693 divided by t half. So let us first calculate lambda it would be 0 0.693 divided by 2 correct. So now tau or mean life will be equal to 1 by lambda that is equal to 2 divided by 0 0.693. Now here if you look at these values so obviously 4 or 2 would not be the option so we are left with the next two options. So if you actually look at the values of uh, natural log of 2 so you would see that this value is actually equal to 2 divided by natural log of 2. So that is C is the right option. Question number 15. An atom bomb weighing 1 kg explodes releasing 9 into 10 to the power 13 joules of energy. What percentage of mass is converted into energy? Now whenever we talk about conversion of mass and energy, the first thing that strikes our mind is Einstein's mass energy relation. So we have learned that energy is equal to mass defect multiplied by c square. So E is equal to delta m c square. Right. So let us first try to calculate the mass defect. So mass defect would be equal to E divided by C squared. So what is the energy that is getting released? It is 9 into 10 to the power 13 joules divided by C squared. C is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So this whole square which is equal to 9 into 10 to the power 13 divided by 9 into 10 to the power 16 that is equal to 10 to the power minus 3 kg. So this is the mass defect. Now we have to calculate the percentage of mass that is getting converted to energy. So therefore percentage of mass would be equal to the mass defect based out of the mass defect out of the original mass and the original mass is 1 kg. So this is m. This multiplied by 100. So delta m is 10 to the power minus 3 divided by 1 into 100. So this is equal to 1 by 10 percent which is equal to 0 0.1 percent. So option a is the right one. Question number 16. The activity of a radioactive sample is measured as n naught counts per minute at t is equal to 0 and n naught by e counts per minute at t is equal to 5 minutes. The time in minutes at which the activity reduces to half its value is. Okay, so basically in this case we will have to calculate the value of t half, right? So in this case what is given? So it is given that initially the activity was n naught and later maybe after let, let's say that later could be after some n half lives 
the activity has become n. So we know that n is equal to n naught 1 by 2 to the power n where n represents the number of half lives. Now according to the question n is equal to n naught divided by e. So the, the, the part of the question which is given here. So when n is equal to n naught by e, so if you put this value it becomes n naught by e is equal to n naught into 1 by 2 to the power n. So n naught and n naught will get cancelled. And now what is this n? Now we do not know the half life of this element. Okay. Now let us assume that the half life is t half. Okay. Now so t half corresponds to one half life. Correct. So 5 minutes would correspond to how many half lives because n naught e counts is the activity after time t is equal to 5 minutes. So 5 minutes would correspond to 5 divided by t half. So these many half lives. Correct. So this becomes 1 by e is equal to 1 by 2 to the power 5 by t half. Right. Now let's take log on both sides. So take log on both sides. So what happens? So on the left hand side it becomes log of 1 by e that is log 1 minus log e. So log 1 minus log e is equal to 5 divided by t half log 1 minus log 2. Now we know that log 1 is equal to 0. So this is 0. This is also 0. We also know that log e is equal to 1, right? So what happens? We get minus 1 is equal to 5 divided by t half into log 2. In fact, you have the minus sign also. So minus minus will get cancelled. Therefore, we can say that t half is equal to 5 log 2. So the correct option is d. Question number 17. Two radioactive materials x1 and x2 have decay constants 5 lambda and lambda respectively. Okay. If initially they have the same number of nuclei, then the ratio of the number of nuclei of x1 to that of x2 will be 1 by e after a time. So after what time the ratio of the number of nuclei of x1 and x2 will be 1 by e? That is the question. Now we know that n is equal to n naught e to the power minus lambda t. So let's make use of this equation for both x1 and x2. So for x1 it would be n1 is equal to n naught e to the power minus 5 lambda t. For x2 it would be n2 is equal to n naught e to the power minus lambda t. Right now, what would be the ratio of n1 and n2? So, this will be equal to n0 e to the power minus 5 lambda t divided by n0 e to the power minus lambda t. So, n0 n0 will get cancelled. So, this becomes e to the power minus 4 lambda t. Now, what is the ratio of n1 by n2? So, if you look at the question, the question says that after what time the ratio of x1 to x2 will be 1 by e. That means this ratio has to be equal to 1 by e. And this would happen after what time? So, basically by solving this, we should be able to find out the value of t. So, this can be written as e to the power minus 1 is equal to e to the power minus 4 lambda t. Now, since the bases are equal, therefore we can say minus 1 is equal to minus 4 lambda t minus minus will get cancelled therefore t is equal to 1 by 4 lambda so option c is the right one question number 18 in a radioactive material the activity at time t1 is r1 and at a later time t2 it is r2 okay if the decay constant of the material is lambda then we have to find out relationship between R1 and R2. So here also very simply we will just write the equation for uh, both the timings because we know n is equal to n naught e to the power minus lambda t. So for example for this radioactive material at time t1 the equation would be R1 is equal to R naught e to the power minus lambda t1. Similarly at time t2 we can write R2 is equal to R naught e to the power minus lambda t2. Right. 
Now from the, this second equation we can say r naught is equal to r2 divided by e to the power minus lambda t2. Now let us put this value of r naught in the first equation. So this is our first equation. So what will we get? r1 is equal to r2 divided by e to the power minus lambda t2 into e to the power minus lambda t1. So this is equal to r2 e to the power minus lambda t1 minus t2. So therefore the right option is A. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.